So today we are trying something different. This is, so to say, the first episode or podcast episode of one of our blog posts. It's about sizing water consumption in storage tanks. With the nearest water connection more than 500 meters away and actually also crossing a main road plus multiple neighbors' grounds, we decided to go for a rainwater collection and filtration system. So be prepared for a lot of numbers in this uh, post. In order to size such a system, I first tried to find out the demand of drinking water we would have on our plot. According to a publication of the German Umweltbundesamt, every person in Germany in 2018 used 123 liters of drinking water per day. This breaks down to the following parts, as you can see in the, in the picture here. You can see the main part is uh, hygiene, toilet, uh, eat and drink is only a little bit on that, cleaning, washing, and there is also a part of 9% for small businesses that are somehow also using water. So what I then did is I used the, the numbers, I adjusted the numbers slightly to what I would expect in our environment. For example, as we are using a composting toilet, we need nearly no water for the toilet, but I left in the 9% for the small enterprises. Percentages in green are estimated less by me than the provided statistics, and percentages in red are estimated higher than the statistics. For example, as I said before, toilet uh, is only 1% instead of 27, but I would um, estimate more for drinking water um, than the statistics do. So this gives us a distribution like this, as you can see here. It's still 17% for hygiene. The MISC part is the dark blue, 9%. Washing clothes, 12%. Toilet, orange, 1%. 2% for dishwashing. 6% for other cleaning activities and eating and drinking, another 6%. So I then calculated the demand for two people uh, over several periods of time which is uh, in a 12 month period, we would need 47,000 liters or roughly 50,000 liters. In nine months, 36,000 liters, six months, 24,000 liters, three months, 12,000 liters, and in a single month, slightly under 4,000 liters. In addition, I calculated the supply in days that a given storage uh, would last to supply water to a to, to person, to people. So 1,000 liter would last roughly over a week and a uh, 30,000 liter would roughly last over 230 days. So I came to the conclusion that our two people household would roughly need 50,000 liters of drinking water per year and that with the standard 1,000 liter YBC we could last approximately um, seven days or seven and a half days which I which is the amount of water we can easily carry in one go with a telehandler because the IBCs come with a forklift um, shoe and the standalone water tanks probably do not, and they're not as easy to carry. So I then went to the SIPA website to find information about rainfall data in the area where we are. And unfortunately, the nearest data points on their map are either Halkirk or Kilpedia. Kilpedia, I don't know how to pronounce that. You see it on the map, it's near Helmsdale, and the other one is near Thurso. Picture you see is from the SIPA website, copyright to SIPA website and others. Among the various statistics they provide on this website, they list the actual rainfall data in uh, millimeters per square centimeter for the last 12 months. And here are, you see the data for Halkirk. I projected these numbers from this chart to the size of the roof of our barn, which we're going to build, which has a roof size of roughly 310 square meters. Yeah, and this uh, barn would actually act as our uh, water collection surface. So even in the driest months in, of the year, in the last year, it's June and March with 8,500 uh, liters, we still expect that there will be more than enough rain to supply us with water. The monthly consumption would be roughly under 4,000 liters. And now to the sizing. I do not want to empty the tanks 
not thanks tanks completely yeah there would be always some sediment or dirt at the at the bottom of the tank so i wanted to be able to leave approximately 20 centimeters of water levels in the tanks and then i looked at the dimensions of different water tank suppliers and um, i found some dimensions for a five and a half thousand seven thousand two hundred and ten thousand liter tank if you look at the levels you can see that even with a 5,600 liter tank, I could survive for a whole month and still had left 20% for increased demand while always leaving 20, 20 centimeters of the water in the tank. And um, with the lifting capacity of our tail handler of at least 1,250 kilos, we can still move such a tank around. Roughly about if there is still 30 centimeters of water still in the tank. So my sizing conclusion would be to go with two of these 5,000 liter tanks so one could always go into maintenance or just act as a backup and have two IBC containers with a thousand liter for emergency water transport. And depending on the water tank and its certification, this would cost approximately two and a half thousand pounds without delivery fees and hoses and all this stuff. So did I miss anything? Did I forget anything? What do you think? <laughs>